how are you today? Good, how are you? Good. Um, so what brings you into the office today? What are your concerns? Um, I would like to incorporate more exercise into my schedule. Um, okay. And I'm finding that to be difficult. Okay. So exercise is important to you and you'd like to try to find some time in your schedule. It sounds like you might be a little busy right now. Yes. Um, how important is this to you? Well, very important. I'm at a weight and a time in my life where I think I could I could work on that a little bit more and make myself feel a little bit better. Okay. So exercise, um, what you're thinking is going to overall improve your health. Definitely. Okay. Well, that sounds good. That's a positive thought there. And on a, um, on a level from 1 to 10 right now, how confident are you that you can make these changes? I'd say about a 3 or a 4 right now. Okay. So not real high on the confidence scale. Right. And at this time, what makes it a 3 as opposed to a 6? What are some of those barriers? Work is definitely a, is a big one. Um, really busy schedule right now, and it's, it's hard to find a time to fit that in. Okay. All right. So the work, and, and you work uh, 40 hours a week. Yep, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, but... 5 o'clock usually extends till after that, so that's where it's it's finding time to fit that in. Okay, so it sounds like your schedule is very busy. Yes. It's a busy time at work. Yes. Um, so are you a morning person or an evening person? I am a morning person, but I find that it would probably be easiest if I fit the exercise in after work. Okay. Because right after work, I go directly home, and I'm home for a good period of time. So that would probably be the best time for me to fit it in. Okay. So it sounds like you get up in the morning, you get to work. Yep. You want to get take care of your work. That's a right. high priority. And then come home and maybe focus on some exercise. Right. Okay. During the day, um, while you're at work, are there times? Like, do you get a break at work at all? We do obviously have a break for lunch and there's times where we just need to get up and walk away from our desk mm -hmm. and those might be times that um, you know walk around the block or something like that but during the day you just I'm so focused on work that that usually doesn't happen so okay. I'm thinking about doing it but then implementing it doesn't always happen okay okay so you've thought about maybe taking a little break at work and going for a little walk getting some fresh air yeah possibly at lunch Sounds like there might be an opportunity at lunchtime to at least get out of the office for 10 minutes. Um, is it an area where you can walk easily? Yes. Yep. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Is that something that you think you can incorporate? Yeah. Um, I definitely don't take the full half hour for my lunch break. So either if I ate first and then went for a walk or vice versa, do a walk, get that out of the way, have my lunch, and then go back to work. Okay. That might work. Okay. How do you incorporate exercise into your schedule? Yeah, I, you know, like you, life can be very busy sometimes, um, and my schedule would be much different than yours, so let's find out where else in your schedule we might be able to include it, um, some time for exercise. Okay. So you come home at night. Mm -hmm. um, are there things at home that prevent you from maybe doing some exercise? No, once I'm home, um, usually uh, Monday through Friday, I, I stay home at night. So I do, you know, um, errands around the house a little bit, and, and then I'm home, and I did buy uh, an elliptical machine. So it's there waiting for me to <laughs> jump on, but it just doesn't always happen. Okay. So. Well, it sounds like you're at least going in the right direction. You've yep. made some positive changes already. You've You've thought about times in your schedule you could exercise. Yeah. It seems like the evening might be a good time. Yeah. You've bought an elliptical. Right. So you certainly are thinking in the right direction. Right. Um, and now that we've talked a little bit about, you know, you being aware of the importance of it, and right. it sounds like it's very important to you. Yeah. Um, it sounds like maybe um, you, there might be areas in your schedule you can fit it in. How about your weekends? Definitely. I'm thinking, you know, if I if I start walking a couple di times uh, at work during the week for lunch, and then when I come home, just set aside some time to do the elliptical. And in the morning, since I am a morning person, and on the weekends I typically don't go into the office, I could do the walking and then, you know, enjoy my weekend. Okay. 
That sounds like some very good ideas. Yeah. Um, based on what we've spoken about today, where's your confidence level now on a, a scale from one to 10? Now that talking about it, I'd say I'm, I'm up to about an eight or so. That's great, Annie. Yeah. Well, I think we've, we've accomplished quite a bit here today. How do you feel about what we've spoken about? I'm excited and we'll give it a try. Okay. Well, I wish you well, and Thank when you. we meet next time, let's talk about how this all worked for you. Okay, thanks, Lori. Have a great afternoon. You too.